Inside the Thomas and Mack Center, as the MGM Resorts NBA Summer League begins, the Toronto Raptors and the New Orleans Pelicans uh, in the backcourt as well. Tony Carr alongside Czech Diallo and Marvin Jones in the front court for New Orleans. And we have tipped off here. Times. But is there anyone else out here who stands out for you that you're looking, that you're interested in looking at? Well, yeah, for sure. I want to see Malachi Richardson who came to that first way. opportunity in Portland. You remember uh, Brad Stevens doing the same thing with Boston. I think it's a great idea. Things. But you want to impress somebody, Marvin Jones, that's how to do it. Blocking shots and playing defense. Marquise Teague with the scoop. How can they get an invitation back in the fall for training camp? So uh, different players, guys who were G League players or two-way players uh, competing for spot. There's no question they're, they're, they're going to start playing those young guys. And I think Tony's got a chance to be uh, a, a bigger chunk of what's going on in Charlotte. Uh, reportedly a two-year, ten million. It's about playing time and the role he's going to go. Gotcha. And you also don't, you know, don't short sell the fact uh, the new head coach in Charlotte, James Borrego, mm -hmm. longtime Spur assistant. So. There's a relationship there. McKinney running the break. <laughs> but it looks like there was uh, some confusion back there. As uh, Gusto the same level of competition, obviously, he's going to play in a regular season. But he can show, and that's why you see Alvin Gentry sitting right to our left. There's uh, four NBA teams, so a lot of roster spots available. And Diallo showing how strong he is. Like, the most popular call, but again, better. Better that than the way it was. Yeah, for sure. I'm with you 100% on that. Three-pointer there by Pavilion and Thomas and Mack, and there's a good chance your favorite team is going to be playing. You'll find some time, that's for sure. And a three-point yeah. shot. And then to, to be let go, but obviously he's landed on his feet in Detroit. Jason Randall to the corner. Whatever we did, we had great game, uh, great game against Steph. Then Clay steps up, then Steph steps up, then Draymond steps up. So it's it's, it's really tough playing those guys. Yeah, and you're certainly familiar with what those yes, guys yes, can sir. do, having been yes. on that staff before. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, he works so hard, and he's uh, built his body up so much. You know, that's the thing that I really uh, like about him. He's been a hard one that they have there. Alvin, it's, it's strange because he was drafted obviously uh, over a year ago. Frank Jackson, really his first uh, his first basketball, first chance for coach. So you're looking at the box score. Who's the guy that's impressing you right now of this squad that you have? Well, you know, I think if you look at Frank Jackson, uh, he's playing the way we like to see him play. And then... Yeah, talking to Kevin Hansen, uh, your coach before the game, he said that you're going to put the ball in uh, Frank's hands a little bit. Out and see what he can do with it. There he is. They're pretty good well, there. And, uh, a lot more open, uh, but it's growing all the time. And I think you get, you get people vacationing here just to come and see this, and I think it continues to grow. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. No, not, not so much, yeah. Alfonso McKinney with the miss yeah. there. Good. That kid. Lewis continues to knock him down. And then all of a sudden, the second year in, blossom like crazy, so. We, uh, we talked about that, Alvin, how, you know, how it's different. And actually, you two teams are a good example. Uh, Toronto didn't have a draft pick to the MGM Resorts Summer League 2018 here at the Thomas and Mack Center as we've got the Pelicans and the Raptors going at it and Chuck Diallo, check the out to scout Kyrie. He says he went there for like five minutes and then he was like, he closed the closed notebook the book. Yeah, you don't need decided the book to leave at that point. Yeah, there are some. Okay. To learn more, visit juniornba.com slash world championships. really good. I mean, the league always listened to input, but I think, frankly, uh, the coaches and the, and the other members of the competition committee have more to say about it now. And I, I think we got to the, to the big chair. I know you know him very well. He's worked with you guys for years. Uh, what do you think that transition is going to be like, D? Uh, I think it should be easy. Like you said, you know, he met with us, especially offensively, you know, so, so we all understand him. So it's cool to see him over there working with these guys and no, him filling in that head coach is definitely, uh, definitely crazy. Somebody from Compton's not going to let Sony from Philadelphia come in that <laughs> yeah. quick and yeah. Yeah. get right there. So there's no question it's going to it's going to take a little bit. Of you guys won 59 games. That's a franchise record. Yep. The number one team in the East. I know, or I don't know, but I'm assuming probably weren't heartbroken that one guy moved from Cleveland. But with the year of, of 
seasoning under them. They're going to be even better next year. You get some guys here with two-way players that are getting a chance to play. Alfonso, OG, we already talked about. But some of these guys might be able to... And it's great about our team. We all put that confidence in one inch, one inch of even going back there in the locker room telling guys, you know, don't, don't get discouraged with the mistakes. You know, learn injury. Literally getting the chance to play his first professional basketball. And yep. he goes down, what, less than 24 minutes. And check the alley with the layup there in transition. Against the grain. Uh, traditionally over the years in summer league, it's it's a veteran team. It's a team with a lot of first and second year players that dominates. It's not always the team with the youngsters, but uh, Los Angeles last year was the story and uh, uh, Kuzma and Lonzo Ball uh, lived up to their oh, reputations no and no set doubt. the stage for that team. How about it? Might have been the two biggest surprises of the year. I agree, but I mean, you watch Kyle Kuzma early, you knew he was going to have a good year. Maybe not quite the year that he did. I'm surprised. He, you know, he was excellent. Jason Oaks. Dennis Smith was good. You know, they were all very, very solid. Yep. Contested shot there by Siobhan Thompson. But this group's easy, uh, you know, different, George, I think, because you got so many bigs. Uh, it's a very good draft class again, but a lot of size. We talk about the league going smaller and stretch fours and stretch out. Somebody else gets an opportunity. We'll see what's going to happen. But uh, poor Frank Jackson, he's had way too much bad luck on the injury front. Yeah, and as we mentioned earlier. Check. I hope that was a pass. I'm not sure what that was there from Check the out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, Javon Bluid, by the way, is leading the way. now on the benches. Javon Thompson in the post against Derek Willis. Goes to the left hand and gets it. Good job. He got his seven in a red jersey, yep. so I think it's you. Yeah. <laughs> a steal by Cody Miller McIntyre on the break. Rally Hawkins with the reverse slam. That's a highlight reel for you. Just an unbelievable kid. Oh, for all intents and purposes. Aaron Holiday, by the way, and the Indiana Pacers were in action. Yeah, the so bragging about Aaron's brother. Yeah, what, Drew. what an excellent yeah. defender Drew is. But I'll tell you what, Aaron Holiday was impressive for UCLA this year. Steve Alford's getting ready. Doesn't matter who the two teams are. There's good basketball to be played. No doubt about it. Uh, back to metal. A nice shot there. He hasn't blown it, that's in, in for sure. practices in New Orleans, <laughs> uh, he's got their eye right yeah. now. He hasn't blown the opportunity. And a three there by Riley Alkins. You, as Malachi Richardson misses a three. Nick, Nick Nurse drew it up. They got the open three, just weren't able to complete it. But again, like, that's something for Nick to work on. Back up, misses, no foul call. And here's Cody Miller McIntyre. McIntyre to Malachi Richardson. Goes up, passes it. In for the dunk. With Kevin Hansen and uh, again, first game in summer league. A lot of things to work on. A lot of things to talk about. The good news is at least four more games for both of these teams. Yeah, no doubt about it. Every team will play at least five games throughout this summer league. Even when we head into the tournament play, we'll start to figure out some seating after three games.